Hi, it's Danny Carter Iddens, and I am on tonight with Taking Back You Live. And tonight we are going to share some really cool tips. I'm going to share, I say we, like who's we? Um, I'm going to share some really cool and like super simple tips for how to get younger looking skin. I thought this would be a great um, live to do, especially because it is about to get cold and whenever it gets cold it always um dries out that always dries out my skin i don't know about you but it always dries out my skin so i wanted to um do this so that you guys you guys could get some fun tips oh i see my mom is on hi mom <laughs> hi mom all right i'm gonna give everybody just a couple seconds um before i start talking about this but yeah I hope you guys are all having a good Wednesday. It got hot again. It was not hot, and now it's hot again. So um, I think we this is kind of like the last stand before, um, you know, whatever. Go ahead and comment and say hi like my mom did. Or um, if you want to tell me where you're from, who you are, if I don't know you, go ahead and say hi. Um, oops, sorry, my camera just, like, creaked out on me. And don't feel, you know, don't feel bad if you want to share this. Where is my camera going today? It just doesn't want to do that. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Well, I'm going to get started because I have um, some fun things to tell you about. And so, yeah. All right. So, I have today three simple things that you can do to get younger looking skin. And, like, when I say simple, I mean, like, they're really simple, almost where you're kind of like, duh, why didn't I think of that? I should have, I should be doing that. But they're also kind of hard because life happen so you know um these are i tried to i tried to figure out a way to make this like really easy for you to do and for you to you know like do every day because i think that's the problem a lot of times with skincare we know what we're supposed to do but we just like are not necessarily um consistent i don't know if that if that is anybody Go ahead and comment below because, yeah, that is me. I know a lot of times what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not consistent. But I actually have a way to help you with that. So um, first off, the first thing that you need to do in order to get younger looking skin is to wash your face. Ta-da! You need to wash your face. Now, this is where it's going to be a little bit different from what you've heard before. Now, I'm sure we all know that you shouldn't wash your face with, like, I don't know, Irish spring or something like that. That's horrible for your skin. It will dry your skin out. It will dry your face out. And you, you're, you will be like, um, you know, oh, my gosh, this is like you can, you can feel your skin tighten up when you use that. So you don't want to use that. But what you do want to do is you want to wash your face every day to make sure that you are getting bacteria, getting dirt, getting excess oil off of your face because that can cloud your pores and that can actually make you look older. Now, about the looking older thing. A lot of times we think that um, water is hydrating, but sometimes water on our skin is actually like, it actually can dry your skin out. I, it's kind of a weird concept to go through, but you, you want to think about that. You want to always moisturize when you are, like, right after you wash your face. You don't want to, even, like, if, even if you wait, like, five minutes, um, you will notice that your skin starts to draw. And when your skin feels, like, tight and draws like that, that means that it's not going to be as receptive to moisture. Um, now, I am going to tell you something. I don't actually wash my face with good old-fashioned soap and water. Um, I stopped doing that in my 20s. I actually, I, I don't, I can't remember the last time I used, like, actual, like, even, like, even face wash. I can't remember the last time I, I used that. What I use, um, what, I, what I use in the shower is a Dove bar the Dove Beauty Bar. That's what I use. It's what I use. And actually, I just use it on my whole body because like, I don't have time to figure out how to, you know, have like, I don't want a whole bunch of different skincare products. So that's what I use. Um, like I said, I've used that since my 20s. I started using, you know what happened? When I lived in San Diego, I started using it because it was cheap. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, this is actually really good for my skin. So I'm just going to keep doing it. And I have never looked back. That's what I use. I use a Dove bar. When um, in between 
the shower, like, you know, when you wake up in the morning or um, if you, when you go to bed at night, I use this. I use Garnier Skin Active um, Micellar, Micellar Water, Cleansing Water. And this stuff is life, people. They have it in, um, it comes in a pink bottle, comes in a blue bottle and a green bottle. The green bottle is for like super sensitive skin which I actually have super sensitive skin, but this stuff, even, even um, the pink, it does not bother me. This is my go-to in the morning when I want to freshen my face up or at night right before I go to bed to take off my makeup. What's awesome about this is that you use this. It cleans your face so you don't have to use water. So you don't have to use a lot of water. I take, where do they go? I take these. I get these at the Target. Hey. They're just the basic. It even says <laughs> basic. <laughs> They're just the basic cotton rounds. I put, I just squirt it on the cotton round, go over my face. Usually I do like two because um, I'm, I teach dance. So sometimes like, you know. And that's all I do as far as keeping my face clean and it removes your makeup. It even removes eye makeup. So you just kind of like. Pat it on your eye and you leave it there and then you pull it off and your mascara comes off with it. It's like science. I don't know, science. But it's really it's really good to not have to use so much water on your um, skin because like I said, water is hydrating. See my live from last week, but it also can dry out your skin. It's kind of a catch-22. So this is, so wash your face every day. Now, let me give you a little bit of a tip. If you are 30 and up, if you're in your 30s and up, you don't want to wash your face more than one time a day. The reason for that is because your oil production starts to dip as you get into your 30s and really mid, mid 30s and up. And so when you wash your face, when you continue to wash your face, it doesn't, it, it doesn't help you like it used to. It doesn't keep the oil off your face because you're not even creating that much oil as, as you used to when your skin was in its earlier years. So um, you just, you know what? It's not a big deal. You just regroup and you kind of have to change your routine. What worked for me at 25 does not work at 34. So I had to change it up a little bit. Not a big deal. You just, you just change your routine up. We're going to talk about that too. Now, um, the second thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you're using the right ingredients. Folks, you can slather on all the moisturizer in the world, but if it doesn't have the right stuff in it, I mean, it's not doing anything and you're probably wasting a lot of money. Okay. So I went on, you know, I love me some Mayo Clinic and WebMD. I went on and I was like, okay, what do I need to put on my skin to make it look younger? And really it's not a lot. So then you kind of wonder because you look at all these, um, you, you see all these skincare products and the list of things that they have is long and it goes on forever and you're like, okay, but what is this stuff that I actually need? It's not a lot what you actually need. The first thing you need to look for is peptides. Peptides are awesome. They fill the skin and they smooth it out. So um, you, there's like a hundred different peptides. This is why I'm, I'm, I, I can literally give you like pept and amino, da, 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 like, and all those words are like science, okay? But if you see a peptide in there, that's a good thing. It can also get rid of your dark circles and puffiness around your eyes. That's what peptides is good for. You want a retinol, or actually, I would actually shoot for a retinoid. Um, a, I'm sorry, the other way, the other, yeah, sorry, la, 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 a retinoid. A retinoid is less irritating for your skin. Um, retinols can be very irritating, and a lot of times you don't even want to put those on every day. You want to do that every other day, because if, if you um, use a retinol too much, you will actually see, like, peeling it will look like your skin is like like you're gonna get a new skin and it's not good because it never stops it just keeps going and going and going and then after like a month or so you're like okay um it does reduce now it is it is supposed to have like an exfoliating 
you know, kind of factor. So it does reduce the fine lines and wrinkles and age spots because it does give you a little bit of exfoliation, but you don't want it to be like out of control where, like I said, you're, you're like sloughing off. You're like, ah, okay. Um, now the next thing is, a, is, by, is vitamin B3 or the fancy word is niacinamide. That is a, is wonderful. It's a skin brightener. Okay. As you get older, your cell, oh, oh like the cell rate, the, the, the rate that your skin cells overturn slows down. So you need a skin brightener to kind of like, you know, give you back that glow that you had back in the day. Okay. And so that's what that you want to look for that. If it says like a B3, um, if it says vitamin, vitamin B or any kind of thing, that's a good thing. And the last thing, and I'm sure you've seen this, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is awesome because it draws moisture into your skin and it like plumps it up and it gives it volume. So when you're um, looking for, you know, products that are going to give you, you know, fuller skin, because that's part of it too. As we age, our skin kind of like starts to sink in a little bit more. And that also can make you look older than you are because your skin doesn't have its like, you know, bounce back like it used to. So hyaluronic acid is really awesome because it helps plump it up and kind of, and give you that bounce back. So, all right, I told you it was really simple. There's only one more tip, okay? Now, the last tip is, is this is like going to blow your mind. The last tip is to simplify your routine. Okay? Yeah. Now, you're like, Fanny, how the heck do I do that? Okay? Because um, I got to have I gotta have me some moisturizer. Then, oop, I need an SPF. Then I need, uh, you said I need to get that hyaluronic acid jazz. And then you said I need some eye cream. And then, oh, uh, what if I get a breakout? And then so I need some acne cream. And then I need some night cream. And then, and then you know, in the winter, my skin gets real dry, so I have to get a gel cream. And there's all these different things. Well, I used to be like you. I used to, um, I, I, uh, gosh. On any given day in the morning, I would get up and I'd do my micellar water, and then I would put on a moisturizer with an SPF in it. And then um, I would put on my hyaluronic acid because I gotta plump that up. But actually, you wanna put the hyaluronic acid on first, then the moisturizer, yeah, whatever. Okay, then I had to have my eye cream. So I have my eye cream, and you know, you gotta do like little da da da, or take, take your middle finger and you're like da 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 Okay, and then like, then you, and, and you know what? And they tell you between each one of these layers, you have to wait like 30 seconds. So that was already what, three things? Um, so at the best, I'm already at like probably close to, because then, then my four year old is gonna say something to me, and I gotta be like, huh, what? Huh? So at best, I've already taken like five minutes. And five minutes doesn't sound like a lot unless you have children or have a career or have something where five minutes is like um, life. And you need that five minutes. And, and when it comes down to when you have five minutes, you don't want to be putting on flipping moisturizer. You know, because you, you want to be like, boom, I look good out the dough. You don't want to be like spending your time with like, okay, now eye cream. Now let's juice up this and da, da, da. You don't have, nobody has time for that, okay? Um, and if you do, congratulations. Yay for you, but I, I, I don't have time for that, okay? And then I had to do the whole thing again at night. So I would put my micellar water on, and then this time I had my night cream and my hyaluronic acid and my eye cream. And I, you know, would have to, I don't know, um, t talk myself through all of this. And then, you know, um, you got to brush your teeth, got to comb your hair, you got to do all these things. And guess what usually doesn't happen? What I just said. That night routine doesn't happen. The morning routine doesn't happen. Something happens because your day is busy and you don't always have time to um, do all of these things. So what ends up happening is you end up not doing any of it. So what if there was a way that I could tell you that there was a, you could simplify your routine and you can only use two products. That's it. And that's what I do. I only use two products because I just ain't nobody got time for that, and I have not, um, I am not just, I don't, I don't want to buy all this stuff anymore. We, I was noticing that I was spending, I mean, I was spending a lot of money on face cream. 
I'm like, God, this is not even going on my whole body. And, <laughs> and so I just was done with that. I found a product that will, that it's just two, it's a night cream and a day cream. That's it. And you can put it on your face in the morning, put it on at night. And you, and I can tell you this people, I have never had more people come up to me and tell me that I look great before I, all those products that I was using in the past, I have never had more people tell me that I look great now in the last like four months. Okay. In fact, I even, I knew, I knew this stuff was working because I booked a, an acting job where I was playing like 25. I was like, <laughs> okay. So that's what I have for you today is to simplify your routine, wash your face and make sure in that simplified routine, you have all the ingredients that you should have. Now, if you want to know more about what I use, the, the specific products that I use, you can go ahead and uh, message me. You can comment below, uh, I don't know, post on my timeline, what have you, and I can get you some more info on that. Of course, I have all of this that I told you. I have it um, typed out as a resource for you. So if you want that resource to read and to look over or to share with someone, that's cool. I can get that to you too. But it is pizza night, y'all. So I got to go, but I will talk to you later. Have a great night. Bye.